Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to quickly show you how you can use a sample delay to create not only a double tracking effect, but create a stereo um, spread in your instruments. So we're going to use it on a guitar today, a uh, software guitar. And to be exact, we are using the Contact uh, Native Instruments Electric Vintage Session Guitarist, which um, I'll quickly play. <laughs> Now, we're going to use the sample delay not only to layer it with the, the exact same guitar again, again, like with double tracking, but I also want it to be spread in the mix as well. So it's at the sides of the mix, so stuff like the vocal and the bass can, and the kick and snare can cut through in the mix. So without further ado, I'm going to go to the track and I'm going to get to the delays and sample delay. I'm going to open it up. Now, there's a couple of different things going on here. We've got the delay left, delay right, and the link left and right. Now, thing to note about the sample delay, and it's very simple. If I was to turn a delay to the left, what that means is the signal that's sent in the sample delay is going to get put out of um, the right side of our ears. And then the exact same signal again is going to get put on the left hand side whatever amount of milliseconds later that we set it to so we're hearing the same signal twice but because the sound isn't coming through at the same time we don't get any phase issues creating this doubling effect and also the stereo spread um, and the most beautiful thing is because the lower you set the the millisecond delay time the less our ears perceive that delay which means that our ears are hearing basically two different signals and it's it's hearing we are even though we're hearing the same signal twice we because we can hear it both sides our brain tricks us into thinking that it's basically coming out of both let's say the left and the right side uh, if that makes any sense so i've got the delay to the left but this is it in mono again now it's really good if you listen to this with headphones on or a good pair of speakers you may not hear it out of laptop but let's see Now, what you can hear there is you may be saying to me, Joe, I can hear it out the left more. Now, that is because it's slightly after there's going to be a slight bias to the side that you have delayed because that's the last thing I ears hear. So if I were to do the delay to the right. There will be a slight bias in the right ear. So it will be slightly louder on the right hand side. But again, when you put that into a whole mix, you're hardly going to notice that. And then what you could do then is um, add two guitars and then double track them. So then you've got four guitars. With vocals, for example, um, if you record two vocals and then you put samples of them, both of them have one delay to the left and the other one delay to the right. You've then got that perfect balance of four vocals um, where two one side to the other because one's biased to the left and one biased to the right. So they cancel each other out. So again, that in a nutshell is how you can use the sample delay, not only to create a spread in a recording, but also to basically double track. And the last thing I add is if you link the left and the right, then that basically means whenever you change to the right, you're going to put a delay to the left. So if you do this, basically, it's just going to delay uh, your track altogether. But yes, guys, I hope this video was helpful. I really hope that you can put sample delay to use because it's really great in mixing, doubling up vocals, especially vocal harmonies. I'm a big fan of it for because you can really get a nice thick vocal take if you've got so many different vocals in there. So if you can record eight vocals with a sample delay, you can make that 16 without having to record another eight. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and more importantly comment below if there's any other plugins you want me to cover in logic if there's any other mixing and mastering tips you want to give or any sort of music production content you want me to talk about or make a video about because this is what this channel is for it's to help anyone who's a beginner and wants to learn how to make music and wants to better their skills so thank you if you made it to the end of this video and i will see you in the next video